Welcome to Meet the 338, where we go over all the relevant information about each of the 338 sitting members of Canadian Parliament. Each daily episode will cover one MP from a specific writing. We'll be going in alphabetical order, starting with Alberta and ending with the territories using this Wikipedia page as our guide. For June 9th, 2022, we'll be looking into Martin Shields, Conservative MP from Bow River, Alberta. Mr. Shields was first elected to the Federal House in 2015 after serving as Mayor of Brooks, Alberta from 2007 to 2015. Shields won his riding with 69.8% of the vote, which was the first time since the riding was established in 2011 that the Conservatives won less than 70% of the vote. In 2021, the People's Party of Canada came in a second place with an even 10% of the vote and the third place NDP at 9.2%. Bow River should be considered a safe conservative seat for the foreseeable future. In 2021, over 80% of the total vote went to right-wing parties, including the People's Party, Maverick, and Christian Heritage Parties, alongside the winning conservatives. Mr. Shields is a member of the Standing Committee on Indigenous and Northern Affairs. He is also a member of several parliamentary associations and inter-parliamentary associations, including, most notably, the Canada-Europe Parliamentary Association and the Canada-Ireland Parliamentary Group. In the most recent parliament, Mr. Shields has focused primarily on police funding in his riding and across the country. He is an avid supporter of his local hockey team, the Brooks Bandits, as he has offered them praise twice during chamber interventions while in office. We will now rank Mr. Shields on three broad categories and offer evidence and citations as to why I rank them the way I did. The three categories are this channel's title, Labor, Liberty, and Land Back. The ranking scale for each category will range from negative 10 to positive 10, with zero being neutral or not enough data available. A member with minus 9 for labor would be more adversarial to workers' rights than a member at negative 2. Labor Mr. Shields goes to the mat for RCMP officers and their pay rate increases, but has stayed relatively silent on other worker struggles. Aside from his support for the National Police Force, he has also advocated for immigrant farmer workers to be allowed re-entry into Canada during the pandemic. Unfortunately, this seems to be at the behest of farm owners and factories and is riding more than the benefits of the workers themselves. His only worker-centered advocacy that I could find related to Mr. Shields was that in 2016 he spoke, spoke in favor of better contracts for unionized oil and gas workers, and in 2019, he spoke against the government's back-to-work legislation around the Montreal port work stoppage. Being a strong supporter of the police and siding with business owners in almost every case, Mr. Shields has let down the working class constituents he represents. 3LBCA gives Martin Shields a negative 6 on labor. Liberty. This is where Mr. Shields will earn some points and will likely have one of the better liberty scores for conservative MPs. Mr. Shields is a proud supporter of local and independent media sources. He is also a supporter of alternative energy production, having one of the largest wind farms in his riding. Shields is very pro-firearm and rightfully criticizes the Liberals and NDP when they make gun control decisions that negatively impact law-abiding citizens while leaving the criminal activity surrounding gun trafficking and smuggling untouched. He is a supporter of immigration and does see issues with the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. He has come out in favor of more long-term legal immigration as a solution for worker shortages on farms. I think this quote from Mr. Shields speaks to his overall views on personal freedom and protesting. Quote, What became a problem were the blockades. Conservatives believe in law and order, therefore illegal blockades that do more damage than good was not the way to go. We must protect the right to peaceful assembly, but we mustn't allow illegal blockading of critical infrastructure, be it at a pipeline site, a border bridge, or residential streets. 3LBCA gives Martin Shields a plus three on Liberty. Land Back. Martin Shields is a member of the Standing Committee on Indigenous and Northern Affairs and has taken his role very seriously. He advocated in favor of Bill C-91, which expanded funding for indigenous languages and has spoken multiple times on the importance of indigenous heritage and preservation of knowledge and languages. His support can be summed up by this chamber intervention from 2019. When I think of the people that I have met on Siksika, the people who are working in the educational system, when I see the immersion programs they're starting to do on Siksika, when I'm in the schools, when I speak at their graduations, when I hear about how important their language is, but those below the seniors, the elders, those older than the youth, 
they are going to miss out. They're very concerned that they're starting these immersion programs in school, they're starting to teach these language, but when they go home, who are they going to speak to? Because their parents don't know the language. So the educators view this as a huge problem, which were they never consulted about how we can deal with it. This Shields' of support for the oil and gas sector, being an Alberta conservative, is no surprise, but it does hurt him here. In contrast, his support for better education systems and empowerment through knowledge is commendable. 3LBCA gives Martin Shields a score of plus two for Landback, as he has been a consistent advocate for certain indigenous issues, but has not given us full support for systemic change. Martin Shields currently tops our small list of three MPs with a final score of negative one. Shields is the first conservative MP that we have researched that seems to genuinely care about his constituents and their rights. Even when that is shadowed by cultural war distractions, he does seem to fight for the members of his riding of Bow River. Thank you for watching Meet the 338. Tomorrow's MP will be our first urban MP, Conservative Party member for Calgary Center, Greg McLean. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for alerts to new uploads. And until tomorrow, folks, have a fantastic day, eh? Peace, y'all.